Hi, uh, hope you're all doing very well. Happy Oceans Day. Um, I'm very excited to share a project with you. It's called um, Ocean in a Jar. Um, we'll be making four of these, each representing a different level in the ocean. As you know, there are five levels in the ocean. Uh, the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, the abyss, and the trench. But we'll not be making the trench today, we'll be making the other four. Um, so what you need for this project is uh, four glass jars, like these. Um, you need some salt or sand. Uh, you need some stones. You need uh, some watercolors or any color you have. Water works best. A paintbrush. And you need, of course, some water. And you need... Um, plastic animals like sea animals or plants so that you can decorate your ocean jar with it and some other embellishments like a twine or something that you can tie at the end to make it look pretty all right then let's begin so uh, we start with the sunlight zone so we take a jar and what we do first is we'll fill it up with the stones So this is the zone that has maximum uh, uh, wildlife and plants in it. So you can totally use your imagination and uh, put a lot of things in it, like stones. If you have shells, you can put some shells in it. Uh, the next thing we do is add some salt. If you have sand, that would be better, but I don't have any. Salt works as well. So you fill it up with some salt. enough and then you fill it up with water now the important thing in the levels is that the color becomes darker the color of the water becomes darker so what you do next is you open uh, you take your uh, watercolors and you use a shade of blue that you have and just use a tiny, tiny amount to color the water. I think this, this shade sh should be good. And now what you do is you put in any uh, plastic animals that you have or you know, plants that you have. Um, so what I'm planning to add is, say, a starfish. So starfish goes in. And then you can also add a turtle. You can add any animals that you have because this is the zone that has the maximum amount of plants and animals in it. Um, we can also add some leaves that I found just lying around on the road. And what you do is shut the lid and you tie a twine at the top. So that's your sunlight zone. Now we take the next zone which is the twilight zone. And here you don't add any stone or any sand. All you have to do is add water. And a darker shade of the same blue that, the, that you used for um, the sunlight zone. In this zone, you can't really add any plants. This is the zone which is between 200 meters to 1,000 meters where the plants can't survive. There are some animals that do survive in it, like uh, the, the sharks. 
Um, so you can add um, a shark in it. Um, a giant squid also survives in the twilight zone. I don't have a shark. Uh, I don't have a giant squid, but you can uh, put it if you have. And we close the jar. And like the previous one, we tie a string around it just so that it looks uniform. So we have the sunlight zone and the twilight zone. Next we move to the midnight zone. We do the same thing, we fill it up with water first. And again, we use the same glue and we just go darker. So now in the midnight zone, there are very few animals that survive. Uh, a whale can survive, a sperm whale can survive, uh, a giant octopus can survive. So those are two animals that we'll add for this zone. Just a little bit darker. Okay, so we add a whale. And we add an octopus. We close the jar and again just tie a thread around. final level is the abyss. Um, this is the level which doesn't have any animals. I mean it does have some fishes but these are fishes that are luminescent that is they give out their own light. We will not be adding any animals in this level. So what we do is we will again fill it up with water. And we add paint but we go a shade darker. We use a darker shade of blue. You can even add black if you want. I think I'll add some black. If you have um, a luminescent toy at home and you put it in, that would be perfect. So that's your abyss. So again, we close it up and we tie a string. Um, so there we have it, the four zones in the ocean, uh, the sunlight zone with all the animals and the sand and the stones. Then we have the twilight zone with some animals like sharks and squids. Then we have the midnight zone with the whales and the octopus. And then we have the abyss with no animals. Hope you liked it and hope you try it. Happy Ocean's Day again. Bye.